mid-January 2025. About four weeks ago, I moved these hives, these colonies, from over there where they were all summer long. And I figured, well, you can move them during the winter and in the spring when they come out or during the winter when they come out, they pretty much go back to the hive. So you won't lose a lot from drifting. And I keep sugar in here and I can see how many bees the hive has through looking through here or from the top. And I, I've had this insulation board on the top that's what four four inches r20 and the other was a week ago i wanted to uh, i wanted to add some sugar to the hives but there was too many bees up here it's in the teens right now a lot of bees so what i'll do is i'll just leave it pry it open a little bit let them cool off and they'll go back into the hive look at that one okay let them let them uh, cool off a little bit Go back into the hive. Look at that one. I'm going to pull out the shim. I don't mind getting stung. It's not as bad as getting bitten. When my boys get into a fight, I got bit on uh, January 1st. I almost lost my thumb trying to break up a fight. My thumb was in one of the boys' mouth, and he thought it was the other dog, and he was clamping down and jerking his head back and forth. This one here is smaller. This is the one I'm worried about. They may be down. I've already did sugar on that one. I might do some more. So this is the only one I'm worried about. And a lot of beekeepers, they don't they don't check their their hives look for the bees during the winter. Uh, it doesn't hurt them to do this. You just don't want them flying out. I will bring them in if I assess that they're too small. No, they're okay right now. Okay, so they're okay. I, I'll probably add a little more sugar maybe. We'll see. But the important thing is I haven't gotten any sugar in these. So here's my sugar. This is Domino cane sugar. This is what I had left over. What happened was the summer of 2023, I created... I created 150 new colonies, and not all those queens made it through the end of summer. But what I did was I, I divvied up my large colonies into my new colonies at the end of summer going into fall. I wanted to sell my some of my colonies to uh, commercial beekeepers that were going down south. I didn't make enough calls. Uh, a lot of those commercial beekeepers, they, they won't buy bees from somebody that they don't know or is not really a into the bee business so I didn't I didn't sell any and on December 1st of 2023 I had 150 colonies and uh, by uh, by May of 2023 I only had nine or wait uh, May of 2024 I only had nine get this right and then I lost a few in June so this 77 is a new queen. That's the only one that created a new queen. So these other four are old. These queens will be two years old here pretty soon. So I ended up with five colonies at the end of summer. And if I get these through winter, I can double this summer. I'll split them in May. Double, maybe do a little better than doubling. But I'll, I'll never, what happens is I know what's going on with the honeybees. I've been doing this for 12 years. It's the chemicals the crop farmers are spraying in the environment. The bees pick it up, bring it into the hive. It shortens the bee life. During the winter, you need your bees to live five to six months. I can only, I can only get three to four months out of my honeybees. So that shortens their life by, uh, by February, end of February, March. My bees are dying in mass numbers and the colony is shrinking. And if it gets cold and you leave them outside, they uh, they chill and they'll die. I've saved a lot of colonies using a hair dryer because I check them every day. But if they don't, if they aren't large enough when it warms up, it depends on when it warms up and when there's nectar available. It doesn't help to feed them a pollen substitute. I've tried it; it doesn't work. Okay, and uh, better. Uh, 
be healthy. That stuff he put in the sugar, that doesn't make him take syrup either. What a waste of money. I wasted so much money on bees. The only thing that works is bringing them in and keeping them from freezing. That helps, but if the colony shrinks to the point where they, the queen won't restart, you end up having to take bees from larger colonies. And I, I went through a, a big hassle a year ago trying to save my bees, and I couldn't save as many as I wanted to because I made, like I said, I made 150 new queens, new colonies in the summer of 2023. I wanted to sell a few and use that money to do my construction project, but I was lucky. It was 2024. I had enough electrical work. I did five or six houses. I made enough money to continue my construction, so it didn't really matter what happened to the bees, but I still have honeybees, and I will come back if I double every year. It'll take me five years to get where I was, but I'm still young enough to do this, but I don't think I'm ever going to carry in a bunch of colonies inside anymore. I'll I'll make sure the colonies are super large going in the winter, and hopefully I'll have some left over, and I can still double. I won't be doubling as quick as I did, okay? Thank you.